Welcome to the Friday, January 23rd, 2015 edition of Ernerberry's Market Video, sponsored by Absano's Market Insight Report. In today's video, Buffalo Wild Wings and Sodexo endow culinary scholarship funds. Then later, we take a look at the latest cattle on feed projections. But first, the question in retail this week is, are you ready for some football? Here with the answer is your host, Nicole Bessemer. Grocers are beginning to prepare their meat and deli cases, along with the snack food and soft drink aisles, for what they hope to be an onrush of business leading up to the National Football League Super Bowl game. Chicken wings, along with other finger foods, burgers, snack items, and some steaks are expected to be among the products to be featured by groceries leading up to the game on February 1st. For further information on what is expected in retail promotions for the big game, check out the news tab in Comptel. Next up, Buffalo Wild Wings and Sodexco invest in the future of restaurant workforce. Here with that story is account manager Adam Sharkey. The National Restaurant Association Educational Foundation announced on Thursday gifts totaling more than $500,000 from Buffalo Wild Wings Incorporated and Sodexo to support its mission to enhance the restaurant industry's service to the public through education, community engagement, and promotion of career opportunities. Yeah. Buffalo Wild Wings has donated an additional $385,000 to support the foundation's operations and establish the Buffalo Wild Wings Scholarship Fund awarded to students pursuing degrees in culinary arts, food science, or food service management. Each year, Buffalo Wild Wings and the NRAEF will select two students attending four-year colleges or universities and four students attending two-year colleges or universities to receive scholarships. Meanwhile, Sodexo donated $125,000 in support of the Foundation's Nationwide Career Technical Education Program, ProStart. A portion of the funds will be used to create a dynamic network among current and past ProStart students, educators, and leading food service operators, as well as suppliers and members of the public. Thanks, Adam. To wind up today's video, here's Beef Market reporter Gary Morrison with the latest cattle on feed projections. Analysts projected cattle on feed up 1.4% on the year. This is the third straight month of larger figures following more than two years of projected monthly on feed data down from the previous month. But the number of head placed in December is projected at about 1.607 million, below that of marketings which were predicted on average at 1.663 million head. This is despite having one more weekday and the same number of Saturdays compared to last year. Each of the following categories came in below the respective five-year averages. The average of the on-feed estimates was 4.3% below, placements were pegged at 2.5% below, and the projected marketing figure was 5.1% below. To read the full analysis, type cattle on feed in the search box on Comtel. Thanks, Gary. That concludes today's video. Thanks for watching and have a great weekend. Today's video is sponsored by Absano's Market Insight for the Meat Industry, providing information, education, and insight for the beef, pork, and poultry industries. View a sample report at absano.com or call 800-932-0617 to get your free sample today.